hardest part about writing a book, and I found this with the Electiquini book, and, and I know I'm going to find this with this book too, it's just the painstaking citing of everything. That's, like I said in the beginning, is what I'm doing here, is creating a database of everything, all of the sources that I've collected so far, and I'll keep adding to this over the next six months or so. And just making sure that, that everything that you're collecting is cited properly, and if it's copywritten material, making sure that you contact the, the original author or the original person who owned the copyright to this, that's really important. I think the other really hard thing is that this is a very, very sensitive story. Um, the experience of Indian children at boarding schools um, was not a good one by and large. And so you have to really go in and put your whole heart into it and make sure that everything that you write um, honors the kids who went to these schools, um, that you just don't go in um, in a lighthearted way that you go in very seriously. And remember that, that even though the, the students who went to the boarding schools might not be alive anymore, their children and their grandchildren are alive. And, and we want it to be something that, that honors their experience. The best thing about writing, the gratification, I think, um, to work so hard and on a project and and to look at the final the final product and just to to be proud of of telling somebody's story and and to have that that um, responsibility to tell somebody's story in in a good way um, I have had lots of comments about Electa Quinney's story for instance as I'm traveling around the state promoting the book um, and people saying to me you know, she lived 200 years ago, and we're so glad that someone finally wrote her story. Um, because by virtue of being a um, native person and a woman in the 1800s, women, especially um, women of color in, in those days, their stories just weren't deemed important enough to write down. Um, so there's a, a gratification in, in saying, I am glad I got to be the one to write your story. I have been a writer my whole life. I was writing in elementary school. I had a grandmother who was a school librarian and a English teacher. So she made sure that I got really, we all, all of her grandchildren got good books in their hands. I think in order to be a good writer, you need to be a voracious reader. Reading to understand your world and to understand history, but also reading good writers um, to see how they structure their stories, um, how they build their characters, how they build their scenes, um, how they write. Um, and I read a lot. Um, I'm a book reviewer, so I read a lot of good writing and a lot of bad writing also. Um, and when I pick up a good book, I say, I want to write like that. How can I write like you? And I try to read as much good writing as I can.